Hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to My Maid Girlfriend. Today we're gonna be continuing, so yeah, let's just jump into it with our legs, because that's what we do. I like how this game is literally just a mobile port, and the PC version is like a hundred times better because there's not the in-app purchases. Anyways, I head straight to the kitchen upon coming from home from school. Oh, go ahead. No, there we go. Okay, I was clicked out of the game, silly me. What important thing does Anna want to talk about with her mouth? And why couldn't she tell me earlier? I'm jolted from my thoughts when I see Anna. Okay, man, my headphones are too loud. It's killing my ears. There we go. Oh, woo, hi, Anna. Welcome home, master. I managed to smile at her, and we both sit down on the bar stools. Anna, no need to call me master for this talk. By the way, where are Mina and Kim? Mina is planting flowers outside and Kim is changing her bed sheets upstairs. I simply nod with my neck hinges. <laughs> Something about this feels ominous. Is it bad news? Is Anna quitting her job as my maid? Are you gonna quit? <laughs> look at the look at the way she jumped. She's just she's so concerned that I asked her that. And look at these costumes, just like mm, those are some nice shoulders. Like, oh man. Alright, anyways. The tension somehow dissolves when I hear Anna chuckle. <laughs> Quit? <laughs> no way, Noodle Boy. Never. But this this is kind of serious. The tension in the air thickens again, like Anna's thighs. Let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> Someone pointed this out in the comments of the other video. They said, Anna has brown hair is known for being like the star student and has thighs that people think are thick. Monica confirmed. <laughs> My last class today was discussing the differences between university and high school rules. My, My professor brought up living conditions and I remembered. Male and female high school high schoolers can't live together without adult supervision. Oh. Well, isn't Mina an adult? Anna takes a deep breath before dropping the bomb. Those who violate that rule uh, face expulsion. All the blood drains from my face. How could I forget the fact that my school prohibits co-ed living arrangements? I can't blame Dad. He's not aware of these rules. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that rule in the handbook. <laughs> I just wanted three incredibly cute women at my house all the time. Don't tell my teachers, please. But then, a brilliant idea pops into my head. Wait, you're an adult, Anna. You can be our adult supervision. Anna is quick to dismiss my idea. I thought of that too, but I'm also your maid, so I don't hold any authority. We can just cover it up. Anna stands up to pat my head as if I'm a child. Noodle boy, trust me. It's not good to tell lies. The school will eventually find out. I feel ashamed for coming up with such a drastic, immature idea. So what now, Noodle boy? How should I answer? Anna, I'm scared. Anna, I'm scared. I don't want to lose Mina. Please, I don't want to lose her. I'm so scared. Anna's lips curl upward and she looks at me sympathetically. I know, Noodle Boy, and I understand why you would be. I'll help. I'll help you come up with a with a solution. Oh, and if you talk to Mina about this, be ready to calm her down afterwards. I give Anna a baffled stare. Why? What about Kim? Knowing Mina, she'll freak out about the idea of getting expelled. Kim, on the other hand, will probably handle the news just fine. Anna's right about that. I'll have to be careful when I mention this to Mina. I really hate that I only slept four hours last night. Well then, stop watching anime all night, you weeb. 
I was too busy thinking about how to not get expelled. Oh. But I decided to protect Kim and Mina. They're my responsibility. I decided to talk to Kim first, so I settled in to wait outside of her classroom. I won't let her run away this time. If she runs away, I'm going to be so upset. Just let me talk to you. Gosh, you stupid. After a minute or two, Kim exits the classroom. I spot the guys behind her, oogling her petite body. <laughs> Goodness. Once again, I find myself clenching my fists. Hey guys, I accidentally hit stop recording, and I'm glad I noticed only like three lines ahead of this, so... It's nice that I didn't like record the whole episode and realize I didn't have any gameplay, so let's continue. Once again, I find myself clenching my fists. Urgh, those stinky guys calling Kim hot and oogling her little uh, petite bowdy. Urgh, makes me so angry. Urgh. I clear my throat <coughs> to catch her attention and she stops walking with her legs. Uh, Noodle Boy. Why are you here? What, am I not allowed to see my best friend after class? I don't know why, but Kim's cheeks instantly turn red. I blink and her stony expression is back in place. Just tell me why you're here! Arr, shows, <laughs> shows Fang. I waste no time in grabbing her arm and starting to walk. The way the camera pan zoomed in, I didn't think he was grabbing her arm. <laughs> I didn't want to do this, but I have no choice. It's urgent. She makes an attempt to break free from my grip, but fails. Where are you taking me? Uh, my van. Where should I take her? <laughs> to the library. How about to the garden? We'll probably get shushed if we're in the library, because Kim yells a lot. I think it's best to talk about, uh, talk about this in the school garden, where there aren't a lot of people. Yeah, agreed. Kim catches her breath as we settle down on the benches. You really had to drag me all the way here? How urgent is this? I've got no time to spare. Time to be direct. We might be in trouble. If the school finds out about us living together, then we'll be expelled. Kim doesn't flinch one bit at what I said. Okay, is someone outside my window? Hold on. Hello? Oh. Okay. I thought there was somebody outside my window and it startled me for a second. Why are you telling me things I already know? So Kim knows. Why didn't she say anything? You knew all along? Why didn't you stop me? Why did you even apply? I'm not afraid of rules. Besides, we're not doing anything immoral. Yet. I stand there, forever in awe of Kim's audacity. But I still need to protect her and Mina. We must protect Mina. MC finally gets it. Noodle Boy gets it, guys. He's got to protect Mina. I walk with Kim on her way to the school gates. You don't need to come to the gates with me. You'll be late for practice. That's my choice. Anyway, I still got, uh, I've still got to do something about the expulsion issue. For now, let's just try not to get caught. Since you already know about this, then. What should I say? Let me protect you. Uh, protect yourself. I think Kim pr prefer we give her space. Protect yourself. Since you're not really chatty with me these days, I suppose you don't need my help. Kim pouts slightly and raises an eyebrow at me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I can handle it. You go on and protect Mina if the school finds out. Oh, are you jealous? Maybe if you weren't so cold to me, then maybe I'd offer to protect you from the school too. Kim's lips form a straight line, her anger written all over her face. I can protect myself. Why don't you inform your father about this first? Kim and I really need to have a serious talk soon. But I don't know I don't know if I want to add to Dad's list of problems. Since I have basketball practice, I say my goodbyes first. Now that I've talked to Kim about this issue, should I talk to Mina? I could talk to her after practice, but will she panic? 
I dribble the ball with my teammate while we wait for the girls' team to change. My teammate has a creepy smile plastered on his face. Ugh. Do you always have that creepy smile when you're training with girls? Ugh. This is like my killer smile, dude. It drives all the ladies crazy. By the way, who do you like think is the hottest? I stopped dribbling for a while. Mina has the best body on the team. <laughs> but I'm too shy to say that. Uh, I don't know. Who's your pick? Mina, you know, like the one with the really nice bod. <laughs> what do you think? What do I think? Uh, be angry, agree, don't say anything. I mean, true. <laughs> what he's saying is true. Mina has a nice figure. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I can't argue with that. See, I have, like, good taste. But I wonder if she has a boyfriend. <laughs> I unconsciously smile when I remember Mina's confession to me just recently. <laughs> I'm the one she likes. Now you're the one with the creep. Now you're the one with the creepy smile. What's that about? Me? <laughs> I'm not smiling. The only thing I don't like about this game is there's like not names for the person talking through the text bar, so like it's hard to tell sometimes. Mina probably has a crush on someone. I dribble a ball away from him to avoid further questions. Practice goes well, and the girls' basketball team has shown great improvement. Mina is one of the is the one of the weakest physically, but she's got the strongest willpower. Meanwhile, I'm dead tired from coaching them. Is it time for me to tell Mina that the school doesn't approve of co-ed living, or should I just mention it some other time? I don't want to scare her. I walk in circles, dribbling the ball to distract myself, and then I hear my name. It's Mina who's calling me. Hello, Mina. How are you doing? Oh, uh, I don't, oh, main volume. I can turn it up and down. That's helpful, actually. Okay. Hi, Noodle Boy. I turn to look at her, and once I do, I find that I can't look away. Her uniform is soaking with sweat, allowing me to see her beautiful outline of her body. Noodle Boy, you can't stop getting... Or you can't keep getting mad at other guys for checking Mina out, but then you do the same. Noodle Boy, what is your problem? <laughs> Huh? Oh, uh, hey, practice is over. Yes, I'm about to go change. I, I just wanted to say thank you for coaching our team. Then the ever so thoughtful Mina strikes again. Yeah, it's no big deal. It's no deal. Thanks anyway, Noodle Boy. Well, my uniform's all sweaty, so I better go change. She runs and makes her way to the locker rooms. Do I go to the locker rooms and talk to her now? What should I do? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I want to go into the girls' locker room. That's, like, really creepy. But am I gonna? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's now or never. Ugh. Oh, time to be creepy. Mina deserves to know what's going on so she can take proper precautions. I don't want any of us to get expelled. I open the door to the girls' locker room, expecting Mina to be in the shower room next door. Bam! Ouch! That hurts! I look to the floor, I see that I've been hit by a thick textbook. Ah! 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 That startled me! No Noodle Boy, why are you here? Um, uh, 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 wrong bathroom! I promise! I shift my I shift my eyes to me to see something I shouldn't see. White, white um underwear. Hello, this is a nice view. <laughs> Why did I pick this? <laughs> well, guys, rip monetization. Just look at that figure. Oh, you're so creepy. Noodle boy, turn around. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um. Okay, Mina shrieks at shrieks and jokes <laughs> me back to reality. In the next instant, she's wearing her school uniform. I I'm so sorry, Mina. I, I didn't think you were in here. Mina's face is tinted crimson as she nods. <laughs> 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 
Wow, um... <laughs> it's, it's okay, Noodle Boy. What brings you here? It's a relief that she's in her school uniform now. My eyes are uh, looking at her face the entire time, I promise. I, I, I just wanted to tell you something. My face still hurts from the textbook <laughs> thrown at me, so I wince. I'm so sorry I threw the textbook at you. I was just so shocked. I mean, he kind of deserved it. He deserved it a little bit. No, Mina, I should be the one apologizing. I'm an idiot for just barging in like that. But it was stupid of me to not lock the door. So, what were you going to tell me anyway? Uh, you have a nice, uh, uniform. I braced myself to tell Mina everything. Listen, promise me you'll stay calm. Are you aware that us living together is against school regulation? Mina takes a deep breath with her lungs. Male and female students can't live under the same roof, right? Actually, I already knew about that, and about being expelled. Huh? Even Mina knows? <laughs> How long have you known? Anna told me about it yesterday. Kim... Kim told me about it a few days ago. At first, I panicked. We have to be careful and not let others know. Second, a second passes by, and the silence grows awkward. If the school finds out, I'll defend you. I take a step forward and I place my hand on her head. Good Mina. Mina looks stunned. You're so kind to me, little boy. I mean, you're the best, Mina. Of course I'm kind to you. I love you, okay? That's a promise. Anyway, I should get going. I start to make my way out of the locker room, but I make sure to say something. By the way, I liked what I saw. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Noodle Boy, get out! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I wonder what Dad will say if he finds out about the strict school rules. I walk over to my balcony to get some fresh air. When I look down into the yard, I almost choke from what I see. Kim's watering the plants and bending over slightly. Noodle boy, you're on a roll for being a creep today. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with my maid's skirts. Sure, they look good, but I wonder if they're uncomfortable with how short they are. I shout at Kim. Hey, can you stop watering the plants? Just get inside. She looks up at me in confusion. Okay, then. I had to do something so she stopped flashing me <laughs> in her short skirt. I walk back to my room back to square one. Do I text dad and tell him about the problem? What should I do? Mmm. Mmm. Uh. Oh man, should I be honest or... Uh, you know what? Screw it, it's a game, okay? I'm not gonna feel bad for dishonesty. Let's not tell dad. I'm not gonna tell dad, okay? I, I like Mina too much to lose her, okay? I'm sorry. I'm doing this for Mina, okay? I'm sorry, Dad. I look out the window and think of my dad in New York. If I tell Dad that I might get expelled, the school finds out. Then he'll worry. Oh, well, that's, that's good. I don't want him to worry, at least, while he's on business. I toss my phone away, so I won't be tempted to call him. I'll just call him if the school finds out. A few hours pass as I quietly do my homework in my room. When I conclude that it's way past my bedtime, I hear a knock on my, I hear a knock on my door. Come on in, I'm not naked. I turn my swivel chair to see who among my maids is knocking on my door. Master, are you stressing out? <laughs> Hi, Anna. Very cool. <laughs> Master, are you stressing out? Her face is painted with concern and she approaches me and gives me a pat on the, the back. Not really, I mean, I'm stressed, sure. What if Mina and Kim get expelled because of me? I talked to them just a while ago. They'll do their best to not get caught. Nobody in school will know about it as long as you don't as long as you don't talk about it there. Thanks for talking to them, Anna. Ooh, oh. 
we um oh, we had in one of the episodes Mina rode home with me in my car what if the school already knows oh frick oh no <laughs> I hope dad comes home soon so we can ha we can have adult supervision at home Anna gives me a carefree smile that lightens my mood I know the perfect remedy for your stress. Wait right here. She leaves my room in a flash, and after an hour, she comes back. With a batch of my favorite cupcakes. Aww. Thanks, Anna. I whipped them up real quick, so don't expect too much. What should I say to her? Are you trying to win my heart? <laughs> you really want to be the best maid, huh? I'm not really hungry. Are you trying to win my heart? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Eat up. My heart's racing. My heart's racing. Help, guys. I take a bite of the cupcake to slow down my pulse, but it backfires. One bite into the cupcake, and I instantly remember how I fell in love with Anna before. These remind me of when I was a kid. Thanks, Anna. Very cool. It's really nothing. This is the least I can do. Hmm, it's getting quite late, and Anna's still in my room. Hey, Anna, can I bring these cupcakes down and put them in the fridge? Anna closes the door behind us, and I get nervous. Despite how attractive Anna looks, her eyes are empty. Oh no, are we getting confessed to again? Master, I'd like to tell you the reason why I applied to be your maid. I shut my laptop and I face her. Oh, okay, uh, go ahead. I've been wondering that. I want to be straightforward and say it. Oh, I'm so sorry. My family is having a financial crisis right now. Huh? How is that possible? Your father has his own business. A few months ago, my father's business went bankrupt. So, we lost a huge amount of money. I applied to be your maid to get some extra cash for tuition. I sit still on my chair, trying to absorb what I just heard. I didn't know you were going through all that. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. It's just that the money that I earn here helps me pay for my classes. I'm sorry too. It's late, and I better head to bed for the night. She holds the doorknob, but I think I need to do something. What should I do? Ask. Mm -hmm. But what about Mina? Oh, I want to comfort Anna though. Uh, <laughs> Uh, are uh, fine. She opens the door, but I get up and run towards her. I put a hand on her shoulder. Then I reach for her hand. Anna, stay. I don't know what possessed me to grab her hand, but she doesn't let me go. But she doesn't let go. Noodle boy, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just want to be here for you. Oh, uh, my master shouldn't be this kind. Anna, everything will be alright. I can ask Dad to help your family. He took care of me when my mom died. And I'm sure he'll help. Anna seems to blush. And I hold her hand tighter. <laughs> M -m master, you don't have to do this. I get paid for being your maid. I'm doing this for you. I don't want you to give up on university. Besides... What you earn here isn't enough. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Master, I won't be surprised to hear that you're popular with the ladies. Aw, that's so sweet. You sure know how to make a girl smile. I smirk at her. Oh, I make you smile? But Anna, I'm serious. I'll ask Dad if there's any way I can help you out. I remember that I'd sing song I'd sing you songs whenever bullies picked on you. 
And now you're the one comforting me. I look at Anna's height and realize that I've grown a lot taller than her. I've grown taller too. I'm not like the little boy who used to babysit anymore. Anna, you know that I'm always here, anytime, anywhere. Anna traces the outline of my face with her delicate fingers. My, ha <laughs> my hands feel like they're trembling from te the tension. I'm here for you too, Master. I can't believe how handsome you are now. Mm. She's making me blush with my cheeks. <laughs> uh, I'm not handsome. I know I still look like a kid. To my surprise, Anna's hands uh, trail down to my biceps. Oh. A kid? You have muscles here and there from playing basketball. <laughs> I kind of hate myself for thinking that you're good looking. Her words flatter my ego, but I keep a straight face. Why would you hate yourself? Because you're supposed to be like a little brother to me. I frown. But I'm not a kid anymore, Anna. Remember that. And as much as I want to keep talking, you need to go get some sleep. Oh. Okay, Master, I just want to thank you. You are already... My words get cut short when Anna stopped... We're Anna. Uh, oh. Oh, frick! She's kissing us! Wow! Wow! My words get cut short when Anna stands on her tiptoes to give me a kiss on the cheek. She says goodnight, but I stand there flustered. I got a kiss from Anna? I can't sleep. I feel so bad for Anna. I hope, her I hope her family bounces back soon. I toss and turn on my bed. I glance at my phone's clock and I see it's 1am. Should I take a shower? Ugh, I can't sleep. Giving up, I get up and an I get up from my king size bed and I put on my sweatshirt. A late night stroll sounds good. I should probably take more walks at night. The air feels so much better. I stop in my tracks and I hear faint footsteps. When I follow the sound, I see someone. Whoa! Who could it be? And what could they be doing at the mansion at 1 a.m.? Keep playing to find out! <laughs> Gosh dang it, this game with the stupid cliffhangers. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought of this video. If you would like to see more, let me know, and I'll play episode 5 soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.